John French. This is a 1986 Le Charro motorhome. We're going to put an electric motor in here so it can run from electricity only, is the plan. First thing you do is to remove the engine. The second thing to do is to take some kind of solvent or gasoline and wash all this area down because this was covered in grease and dirt and oil. So once that's washed down you have a clean surface to work with. With a piece of cardboard and a ball peen hammer you can locate all the holes in this transmission casing. And then from there we'll take this here off. See, you see all the holes we've knocked out. And then I'm going, this is going to be made out of probably quart 3 16 inch plate steel there and then I'm going to put a piece of plate steel on the bottom to which we can mount the motor and that will the motor shaft will join with the transmission shaft right here so that's the plan what we're going to do now is we're going to grind a hole in this bracket that I made to go between the transmission and the motor this hole needs to be about two and a quarter inches and this is the machine to use. What a great machine. Check this out. As you can see, We've marked all this information out on this piece of sheet steel. We've welded it at right angles to this bottom piece here. Now then, if all is correct, this should line up. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, what a surprise. So we've got three bolts in just to get this mounted on the transmission casing. This bracket will now hold the electric motor. However, I don't think that this piece of sheet steel would hold the motor by itself. It would probably cause this welding to crack. So what we did was we made a bracket to cradle this piece of metal on the bottom. Then we made another bracket here or another cradle. Just welded it, put a couple of lugs on here and bolted it to the chassis. So this is going along pretty fast. See we've got all of this information here. Okay, so now you can see that this is a right angle. The next step is to measure the distance from the center of this transmission shaft to the base of this bracket. That will give us the distance that we have to set the electric motor shaft to so that these guys will marry up or meet up perfectly. This is quite crucial. It has to meet up right. So now we can see the bracket that matches to the transmission. And we've had time to paint it. It's a nice blue here looks quite professional as you can see we had enlarged the hole around the transmission casing I think that was like a 13 inch hole or something so we can get the flywheel in because there's no plans you can buy for this kind of job you, you pretty much have to make it up on the fly all right well this is the baby this is a 30 horsepower AC motor using about 75 amps max when it's normally running this is going to fit in the onto that bracket that we made outside now then onto this shaft here what we're going to do is we're going to put a pulley on there to run on an alternator and then on the very end is where we're going to weld yes weld the flywheel and clutch mechanism now then, the transmission shaft is going to have to fit in here 
So in this end here we're going to have to drill a hole or mill a hole to put in a roller bearing and then the shaft will fit in the roller bearing so they can be the shaft will be supported from the transmission but it will not actually turn this it will just be a place to support the shaft so it doesn't get knocked out of center or become what we call eccentric all right so now onwards and upwards <laughs>